It's a great resignation where folks are leaving their everyday jobs for work that has maybe better pay, more flexibility for life and family, work from home options. Well, that great resignation has now turned into the great job scam. According to the Federal Trade Commission, the FBI and FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, phony job postings that look real are really just everywhere. The phony job postings look like the real postings. You can find these phony postings on legitimate sites like Indeed and LinkedIn. Phony postings also come through on social media, they do it on email, and they do it on text as well. Now there are a few red flags if it seems like the interview process is moving rather fast and there's not really any specific skills that are required, but the hourly rate is really high, it's probably a scam. If they ask for payment upfront for supplies or uniforms, maybe they even call it a starter kit. I gotta tell you, legit employers will not be asking you to cover these kinds of costs. The scammers may seem legit and realistic. In fact, on the FTC consumer advice page, they run through the scam for you. So we're gonna take a look at it. And it first says they get your information they send you a check for, let's say, $4,000. Once that check clears your bank, they tell you to keep $1,000 for salary and to send the $3,000 back, either to them or a third party so that they can buy your computer equipment. But I gotta tell you, the com computer equipment, it never appears, and this is the last line, and sadly, when the bank realizes the check is fake and you're on the hook for that $3,000, not the bank. Spotting a job scam is one thing. Making sure that the job posting you're going for is really real is another thing. Here's how to do it. Any job that you're interested in, because they're, even these jobs are on some of the, the big job sites, you want to go to the individual company's website and see if the job is listed there. If you're really interested in the job, it's not listed there, then call the HR department to find out if it's real, because you can lose a lot of money in one of these employment scams. One last thing, Zoom interviews, right? They're pretty standard these days. If the employer says they can't do it and can only communicate by phone call, by text, or by email, there's a problem.